Okay, we pray that you draw people from the east, from the west, from the north, from the south. You will draw in, Lord, those that can uh, will be able to participate. We thank you for the heart of your spirit. Thank you for your anointing, God, that breaks the yoke. Thank you, God. Lord, you are God of compassion. You are God of power. You are God of might. You are God that is able to do awesome things. So we pray that wherever this uh, t uh, teaching goes today, that your grace and your anointing and your power and your love will just flow and that you will be glorified. Let hearts be stirred. Let your glory be seen in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. We thank you, Lord, that we are able to be on and to be able to share this time with you. Betty and I are welcoming you. We, this is Peter Burnett. You're here at uh, the evening, Sunday evening chapel with Emmanuel Caribbean University. Yes. You know, we're taking the time on Sunday evening just to share and to minister to you. Our vision really on these Sunday evenings is that we'll see this room filled and we'll have almost like a TV studio um, um, opportunity where we are sharing both in-house and streaming. Yes. And we'll be able to have worship bands and worship groups and it'll just be a wonderful experience, um, a new type of church experience for you when you come here at Emmanuel Caribbean University. So if you're in the Montego Bay area or if you're passing through the Montego Bay, Iron Shore area, plan to be with us on a Sunday evening at 6.30 for the chapel services here at Emmanuel Caribbean University. So welcome again, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Amen, amen. Uh, why don't you do something before Betty leads us in worship, why don't you get a hold of your phone and uh, go yes. to the, or uh, uh, go on your computer. Yes, uh, let us know you're listening to us. Mm -hmm. Send us your response, send us prayer requests, but also copy and paste the link yes. into your uh, social media platform. So I'm going to do the same even while we are starting here. I'm going to go on our ECU space and I'm going to capture the the link. It says share and I'm going to capture that and then I'm going to be able to share that with others. I'm going to share that, for example, you know, a WhatsApp group for the school yes. so that our students can come on. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. And then if you have a personal page, yes. you can also do that. Um, now for us, every time we share this, it is shared to several other pages almost automatically so um, mm -hmm. I want I want to invite you to be one because we want to mm -hmm. grow our page yes. so if you are not if you have not followed the Emmanuel Caribbean University Facebook page can I ask you to take a minute and do that mm -hmm. just click that link that says like mm -hmm. and uh, put the request for notification so that way you'll be notified every time we are, um, we are on all right so we want to thank you again for joining us. I've done that. I put my link in, mm -hmm. and I've sent it over. I'm even sending it to our board of directors, so those who are listening mm -hmm. can also come on. Will you help us to do that? Probably to your church, probably to your your family, mm -hmm. probably to friends, uh, probably in your neighborhood, maybe in a community. Mm -hmm. You can uh, copy the link and share with us amen? amen praise god praise god thank you so much again for joining us and our pastor is going to lead us out in worship and with a word and then i'm going to come back and i want to share a little bit about emmanuel carbon university and then i want to talk about compassion the heart of god towards the multitude oh, is compassion awesome. amen thank amen you. praise Ooh. the lord well we are here again and i love it <laughs> Is because we love God and, and we, we we are intentional. Yep. And intentional is to, to, to say what you feel on the inside of you coming out. And ECU is like that. Emmanuel, mm -hmm. God is with He's us. With us yeah. And if God is with us and we should be with you, mm -hmm. you should never have a doubt. If you have doubt, it's because you don't believe. Mm -hmm. And you've got to believe mm -hmm. that to He believe. is able and he's with you. So there's a song that I have been singing for years yes. from the scriptures. I love scriptural songs. And the song that I, I got to sing tonight, Pastor Peter, mm -hmm. is Psalms 5. If you have your Bibles with you or around you, or you can put it on your phone, um, sing it, well, King James. <laughs> some, some have King James New Version. But Psalms 5, it talks about give ear to my words. Oh Lord, consider my meditation, and I love it. It's a song that somebody wrote, and and they never know who the author is. But you know what? This is an amazing song. So it's Psalms one to 
I think it's one, two, three. Okay. Verse one to three. Yes. Okay. Psalms chapter five, one, two, three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it goes like this. Praise God. Okay. Give ear to my words, O oh Lord. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For unto thee will I pray, my voice will thou hear in the morning, O oh Lord, in the morning, will I direct my prayer unto Thee, and I will look up, give ear to my words, O oh Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For unto thee will I. Unto thee then will look up. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. That is what we need to do. Yep. And in the psalm, up. that's mm -hmm. what the psalm is full of psalms. Psalm. That's what the psalms are. Yeah. That means it means yeah. psalms to the Lord. Well, it means that we need to look up. Yep. And looking up is in our walk with God and his prayer in our life is that he is the answer. Yes. And amen. we need to always look unto him. Mm -hmm. I think that's a unique song. I love it. And I love the way you just take the, the very words of Psalm 5 mm -hmm. and you just sing that. And I want to encourage you. Mm -hmm. Get a hold of the Bible and begin oh, to yes. sing it. Yes. Sing the words of the scriptures. Yes. Amen. It's awesome. Praise God. Praise God. I love you, Lord. Yes. I love you, Lord, for your mercy, Debbie Phil. And if you know that song, please sing along with me. And it's just not me just singing, but we're here to worship God. Amen. This is Praise what we're God. all about, is to worship God from our hearts and from our spirit. And I love you, Lord. I love the song because this is exactly what described me. Yes, I Growing agree. up. <laughs> described me growing up yes. and loving the Lord. And it goes, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. All my days I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up yes. until I lay my head, I will sing. Of the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Sing with me now. Come on. Cause all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. Yes, Lord. And every breath that I am able, I will sing. Of the goodness of God, I love your voice. Yes, you have led me through the fire in darkness nights. 
You are close like no other. I know you as a father. I know you as a friend. I have lived in the goodness of God. Mm -hmm. And all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you you have been so, so good. And every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. Cause all my life, yeah, all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. Every breath that I am able, I will see oh, of the goodness, goodness of God. God. Now, that part, I will see of the goodness of God. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. With my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Praise God. All my life you have been faithful. Yes, we declare the faithfulness of God today. And all my life you have been so, so good. So good. Praise you, Jesus. And every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness I of God. I will sing of the goodness of God. I will sing of the goodness of God. One more time. I will sing of the the goodness of God. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. We We give honor and glory to you, O God. We praise praise you. We praise you. We exalt you, O God. There is none like you, O God. All our lives you have been faithful. Oh, come on, sing that. Lift up your voice. Lift up your hands. Lift up your worship to the Lord. And all my life you have been so, so good. And every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. I will sing. Of the goodness of God, I will sing of the goodness of God, I will sing of the goodness of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, praise oh, God. Praise, praise God. God. Praise you. Why don't you just pray for those that are praise just uh, needing to to yes. sing of the goodness of God. There's some yes. people there that have stopped yes. singing. Yes. There's some people who have just downplayed their singing. Yes. They let everybody else do their singing for them. <laughs> they are not learned to sing out of their spirit. they are not yes, learned right. to vocalize their praise to the Lord. Why don't yes. you just pray for them right yes. now? And probably we could even, I feel we need to create another opportunity for them to sing. So let's <laughs> sing that song and just a little bit so that they can just yes. release up. Just pray Amen. for them right now. Father, Hallelujah. I just thank, thank you, thank you for Jesus. tonight. Lord, I yes. just thank you that we can come together to worship you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. come to worship you because you are good. Yes, yes, And because you are good, there is nothing you will not withhold from those who who would just ask and receive from you. Lord, I pray for those who are hurt, that are hurting right now, Lord. We don't know where they are, but wherever they are in Mm -hmm. their sphere, Mm -hmm. in their space, Lord, I ask you to touch them right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. There is yes. nothing that you will not withhold for them nothing, that love you. Nothing. And Father, Praise you are good. 
You are good to yes. hear the cries yes. Yes. of those who want to sing. Mm -hmm. But they don't have a word to sing. They don't know how to sing. Holy Spirit, we oh, ask you to Lord. pour your yes. love right on them right now. Right now to Lord. pour right your now, peace Lord. upon them right, right now. now. Give them a song. And we ask you to give them a song yes, of God. worship. Give them a song. A song yes, that Lord. will yes. bring their spirit out oh, of the darkness. Praise, praise that they will bring them up to the light. Mm -hmm. And Father, we ask you Thank in the you, name Jesus. of Jesus, Jesus. It is Jesus. not hard to sing before the no, King. No, for it it's not worthy. hard to sing before the Lord. No, please, Father, worthy. we thank you in yes. your precious name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' Amen. name. And Amen. also healing. A uh, singing, it brings healing. Yes, it does. We thank you for yes. healing you, for Lord. those who are hurting. Thank you, and Lord. physical Amen. in their bodies. Yes. So come on, so open your mouth. Yes. I said, all my life. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you've been so, so good. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I'm able. And every breath that I am able. Come on, do it. Sing it. I will sing. I will sing. Of the goodness of God. Of the goodness of God. I will sing of the goodness of God. I will sing of the goodness of God. Come on, one more time. God. Lift up your voice. Yes, I will sing. And all, all my, my life, life you have been faithful. Lord, you have been faithful all my life. And all, all my life, life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, oh, yes, I will sing of the goodness of God. God. And you I will sing. Yes. Of, of the goodness, goodness of God. God. Come on, say, point to yourself and say, You I'm will yes, sing of, of the goodness of God. God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Lord. Lord, I give you praise and honor. Come on, right where you are. Open up your mouth and just let a spontaneous praise come out of your spirit. Out of your mind, out of your mouth. Just whatever words of honor, whatever words of praise, whatever words of love, whatever words of appreciation, sing it to God. Lord, I praise you. We give you praise, oh Lord. You've been so faithful. You are glorious, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory and honor to the living God. We will praise you with every breath that we take. We will exalt you for you are the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You deserve it, Lord. You deserve it, Lord. Oh, amen. We just go on and on. You know, before the throne of God, they just keep worshiping. Oh, yes. You know, the Bible says the, the elders bow down Before and they the get up, they look at God and they say, holy. holy, holy. And they bow down again and they say, holy. Yep. And it's just like worship surrounds, worship surrounds the throne. Yeah. How important is worship to the life of the believer? Worship as a life of a believer should be, you know, when you got saved mm -hmm. and you gave your life to Christ. Mm -hmm. God also help us to develop our skills mm -hmm. before the Lord. The Lord tells you to sing skillfully. Right. He said, don't sing. You know, some people just sing sad and they're down and they're out. You know, he understands the heart, mm -hmm. but he wants you to get above that hurt. And he wants to hear from you what from your soul, soul from your from soul. Your soul. Yeah. I remember when I was a little child and I had a, I learned, you know, as guitar, guitar, mm -hmm. guitar. And I will play the key of D over and, and G key, no D G and A. a. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I will play basic it over. cards. Those are basic cards. <laughs> I will play it over and over and over to the fact that I start to learn songs that I could sing to God, but I also develop my own songs. Out of I your made, soul, out, out of, of your soul. journey, out and of I your just thinking. kept praising God. It didn't. It, I didn't care if anybody didn't hear my mistakes, or I didn't care about that. My ultimate was my relationship with God. Yes. And to sing a song to him meant like I was singing a new language. Wow. wow. And then I would go into tongues and right. I would go into singing. Singing has an expression. 
but it had to come from the heart. You know, what, what, how did you feel once you started worshiping like that? How did that make it you? It made me happy. Okay. It made me felt like the burden was off my shoulders. Mm. It made me felt like I was in the presence of God. Which you were. Which I was. Mm -hmm. And I felt like that he loved me. Wow. He loved me. Yes. In spite of everything that I went through as a child, growing up or mm -hmm. whatever God did in my life, mm -hmm. I knew that I could come to God in my private time. Of worship. Worship. And singing. And singing. And that's how I developed my singing. And that was only with D, G, and A. <laughs> Listen, you can start, man. I'm telling exactly. you. That's just three notes. You can just sit there. Uh, uh, some of you have pianos in your house. You've never oh, got on it to play. Yeah. You don't have to be like, uh, you know, one of these big fancy guys. Just worship. Some of you, I was at a church today and everybody was there. Somebody had a tambourine. Get a tambourine. Oh, tambourine. Clap your hands. Yeah. And I, I want to encourage you. Yes, we have a lot of Christian radio <laughs> and a lot of Christian music. And you go on yeah. YouTube and MyTube. And all, and you can listen to everybody else's song. I want to challenge you. Let a song rise from within your, your heart, spirit. Your Learn in your own personal time to sing the Psalms and sing any scripture. Really, any scripture. Um, a lot yes. of us are very familiar with hymn books oh, yes, um, or, or liturgical readings. All of those was somebody else's experiencing with God exactly. that became crystallized or exactly. as a hymn. We call it a hymn, mm -hmm. or maybe a great. You know, we have many, many great. Christian musicians yes, today. Yes. Well, it was out of their time with the Lord, the Lord that they formulate songs. Exactly. I want to encourage you, exactly. let a song rise from inside of you. Exactly. Worship the Lord. And and by the way, that's what Emmanuel Caribbean is all about. The Indeed. word Emmanuel means what? God, God is, is with, with us. us. So we believe that whether you're in the local church, whether you're in the marketplace, mm -hmm. whether you're a, your parent, mm -hmm. whether you're a teacher, God, God is with you and God wants you to recognize that is with you. Mm -hmm. One of the great ways to recognize and usher in the awareness of God's presence in a room, mm -hmm. in a business room, in your own lives, wherever, is to worship Him. Mm -hmm. Is to begin to just hum, sing, mm -hmm. whistle, <laughs> whistle. Well, huh? I mean, you can you can play a trumpet. Well, my, my, you my can, grandmother said I couldn't whistle because I was a, big, I was a girl. But you can whistle. Okay? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we can whistle now, praise the Lord. And, but really, whatever it is that comes out of your spirit, the idea is to honor God. I want to share a scripture with you real quickly. If you turn to Matthew chapter 9. Matthew chapter 9. And I want to just say something which I talked about um, last week and I've been, this really been on my heart. This is really the cry of Jesus as he, as he spoke about what's going on in the harvest field. And Matthew chapter 9, um, I'm looking there uh, that in, in verse 12, Jesus said to them, Those who are well have no need for a physician, but those who are sick. But go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. You know, sometime in, in today's age and in, in with all the wickedness going on in the world and with all the, the increase in drug use, with all the crimes and killing in our, in our nation, with all the law, lawlessness. I mean, I saw, uh, I saw some, uh, we were on a newspaper, somebody said, you need, we need to make crime illegal again. I'm like, that does sound strange. Crime should always be illegal. But you know, we have, we have uh, it, like in our country of Jamaica here, we are still struggling because we are looking the other way with ganja we know we have legalized it we, we say we don't but you know we're just saying uh the police and everybody looking the other way while our young men are becoming stoned and hooked on ganja and men and women becoming hooked on ganja and marijuana and ganja is a gateway drug to harder drugs and it is a demonic influence upon the lives of people ganja and drugs and alcoholism and any kind of intoxicant that anything that people would take to try to deal with today's pain deal with today's pressure deal with today's brokenheartedness to deal with the, the mm -hmm. all that's going on in the world today it is a demonic influence to pull people away from the love of God mm -hmm. and one of the things the enemy is trying to tell people is that God is not merciful 
Mm. One of the things people, God, the enemy, even sometimes we as preachers and other Christians, when you think and you hear us speaking, you would think that God is just waiting to hit you over the head with sin or we, God is going to use the next hurricane or God is going to use the next tornado or God is going to use the next tsunami or God is going to use the next eclipse. Oh, God is going to use some other, some kind of natural disasters to, to put you in your place and make you know that he's angry with you and make you know that you are sinners. And, and so many of you tonight, you have given up on, on God. You, you believe that the church can't handle what you're going through. You believe that pastors can't speak to you in the level of your pain. You believe that the ministry of the church is not relevant to the disappointment, the brokenness, the confusion, to what you have to do. You have to live. You have to make something of your life. And you believe that the church is not able to help you. But I'm stopping by to tell you today, my friend, you believe the lie. Somebody told you something wrong. Somebody has bewitched you. In Galatians, they said, who has bewitched you to now believe something different than that which brought you freedom? What brought even our four parents. That's right. What brought them freedom? What brought them the knowledge that were ma they were made in the image of God? It was not something from some, uh, you know, a European university. It wasn't something from some witch doctor. It was the word of God. It was the word of God that came to the heart of a man like Sam Sharp to say, you were made in the image of God. You were created by God. It was God that gave them their identity. Who gave our foreparents the idea of marriage and of husband, of wife, how to take care of their children? Who gave our foreparents the wisdom and the insight? I mean to tell you, some say, well, it was because we were, you know, living in African villages and all of that. Mm -hmm. Friends, if you go to African villages and so forth, you will still have crime. We are still yes. having those things. Yes. The thing that made the difference in Africa, in Europe, in Jamaica, in India, in the ghetto, in the uptown, has been the word of God. It's been the word of God. It's been the word of God. So today, why would you want to throw out the landmark that the old fathers have made? You say, well, what, what landmark are you talking about? But I think in Jamaica, we have the great example of the landmark. It says, our national anthem is a testimony about what God is after. What is God after? When you listen to the national anthem of Jamaica, it is speaking of God wanting to bless our land. It speaks of God wants us to, to keep us free from evil powers. It's not about being dominated by evil powers. We really see that there is a dream that God wants to keep us free from evil powers. He wants to be our light through countless hours. So there are four, our four parents even in worse economic situation that you're going through right now, even with greater level of oppression and prejudice or disagreement or discrimination than you are facing right now, even when our foreparents have less right, they had less power to change their circumstances than you have right now, they looked to God. They said, give us wisdom from above. They did not look for wisdom from above. DJs and dancehall artists and movie icons and singing and singers and reggae artists and, and poems of that our man and human being. No, they looked to God. They looked to the eternal Father. So I just want to quickly tell you that God is still merciful. God is still loving. God has compassion on you. I believe when God looks at me and looked at us and look at what's going on in our city, what's going on in our, in our nation, what's going on in the world, he's not looking at us with anger and wanting to beat us into submission. That is a lie from the pit of hell. The only one who beat and oppress is the devil. He comes to steal, to kill and destroy. Take a look back. Step back. Look at the people around you. Look at the fruit of those who are following the devil. Mm. He is beating them. He holds them down. And when the devil squeezes a man, he doesn't say, oh, I've squeezed them enough. Mm. When the devil punch a woman, he doesn't say, I've punched them enough. 
he keeps on punching he keeps on squeezing he puts his foot on them and the devil robs the life out of a young man out of a man out of a woman that's what the devil does look at the life of any man or woman who have surrendered themselves to jesus he turns he gives them beauty for ashes he gives them oil of gladness for the spirit of mourning he turns their sorrow into joy god is not the killer god is not the oppressor god is not after your head he's after your heart look again at matthew chapter 9 jesus says those who have well have no need of a physician but those who are sick friend the first time this is matthew chapter 9 and verse 12. you know god is compassionate towards you the bible says he was moved with compassion but there needs to be a response on your part if you think you are well you will not experience the ministry of the great physician if you think you don't need help if you allow the enemy to manipulate you to deceive you to lie to you if you allow the enemy to tell you to give up to stop developing stop growing stop dreaming stop pursuing your purpose stop pursuing your destiny if you allow the enemy to tell you to throw down your hand to give up to stop loving stop hoping stop desiring stop going to church stop listening to pastors forget what your grandmother taught you throughout the bible if you listen to those who tell you to bond the bible and bond a spliff instead bond the church and go down the corner of the road if you listen to those things my friend you are turning your back on the great physician you must acknowledge that you are not well i am sick you must acknowledge john 3 23 i have sinned and i have fallen short of the glory of god i need god i need the wisdom of god i need the redemption of jesus christ so you first have to acknowledge that there is sickness in your soul sickness in your life amen and he says go and learn what this means because jesus says i desire mercy not sacrifice you see sacrifice is where sometimes when you are sick when things are going on inside of you you want to take control yes. you want to take control it's, it's natural we want to we don't want to feel at the mercy of anyone mm -hmm. however when you trust the great physician mm -hmm. when you understand his capability you allow him to take control you know how many people you go to the doctor and you have some issue with cancer or some problem in your life and you say okay doctor you tell me what to, what is to be done and i'll do it <laughs> you tell me what they teach you and then i'll tell you whether or not i want it well i know some people like that right mm -hmm. so I'll, I'll, you know, I'll do what i want to do i'll be my own physician mm -hmm. don't be like that that's we have to humble ourselves you got to acknowledge that the marriage is not working mm -hmm. you are not at peace your children are not where they ought to be your household is not at peace the enemy is having a heyday you have no peace in your mind you have to survive on drugs you can't put down the ganja spliff you have to keep listening to these djs and dancer all artists and keep your brain going because you can't allow quietness in your soul you can't allow conscience that's not right that's not how you were made god says listen I don't, i'm not looking for you to do something for me god says he says i desire mercy so you come and you ask him for mercy you can't buy god's peace you can't buy by good works so well pastor peter i do good things well you have to come and ask for his mercy and he's here to help you and the lord says i did not come to call the righteous but sinner unto repentance that's because god is moved by compassion john 3 16 god so loved the world that he gave his that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish God sent not his son to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be what? Saved. So I want to invite you tonight, tonight, and whenever you listen to this video, if you're not saved, I'm going to pray a prayer with you. And I'm inviting you to open up your heart, humble yourself, and ask for the mercy of God. Ask to be made righteous by God. And for those of you that are already saved, I want to invite you to come deeper. Take a deeper walk with God. Yeah. Open up your spirit for more of God. 
And I want to invite you, if you're already saved, to begin to speak about God the way God wants you to speak about Him. Talk about God to your neighbors, to your friends, to your family as a God of compassion. Talk about God to those that are sinners and are living in ungodliness around you. Talk to them about the God of mercy. Talk to them about the God, the great physician. And can I encourage you, when you get discouraged and when they turn their back on you and when they don't want to hear anything from you, yeah. when I'm telling you, shut up at all of that, don't get bitter at them. Yes, don't shut the door to them. I pray that you will be like God. Say, God, give me a heart of compassion to keep on be compassionate. Keep on be merciful. Amen? That is what God is about. God approaches us. He told the disciples, he says, the harvest, he said, when he saw the multitude, he was moved with compassion and he said, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Psalms 23 says, the Lord is our shepherd. Yes. He's a, not just a shepherd, he's a good shepherd. And he tells us all the things the shepherd does. I shall not want, means he provides for us. He leads me beside the still water. The shepherd leads us to a place of rest and a place of peace. He leads me beside the still water. He restores my soul. That's what the Lord does. He restores the soul of people. Right? He, 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 he brings all these things to us because he is the good shepherd. Do you want the good shepherd to be that to you? Do you want to be that sheep coming under the leadership of the good shepherd? Why don't you pray this prayer with me right now? Let's just go on hands. Let's pray. Father God, just pray with me because I want to lead you in this. It's your prayer. I'm just encouraging you through this. Say, Father God, I know you created me. I know that I've sinned and I've fallen short of your glory. I need the help of the great physician. I humble myself before you, God. I have tried my own ways to deal with my conscience, my heart, and my sin. Yes. But I need Jesus. Forgive me, God. Yes. Send me the help of Jesus. Yes. Send Jesus. I receive him yes. in my heart. Yes. And Father, cleanse me yes. as you promise yes. from all unrighteousness. Yes. I receive and believe that the death of Jesus yes. on the cross was in my place. Yes. And therefore, God, I thank you that you give me full forgiveness and you give me a new start. Yes. I receive mercy from you today. Lead me now to fulfill your will and yes. fulfill my purpose yes. the rest of my life. Yes. These things I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Listen, if you pray that prayer, I would love to hear from you. Yes. We'd love to try to connect you to a local church, wherever you are in the world. Yes. Yes. A church is somewhere. We'd love to connect you so you can grow and begin to find this new life where you won't need all the props and all those things propping you up. You can live from the inside. I want to close by praying for those of you that are already Christians, but you are not sure how to reach those. You become, uh, you become a little bit hard. You've lost that compassionate edge. Uh, you, you become, uh, you, you've lost the mercy for the sinners and for those that are lost. Can I pray for you? Let's pray. Father, I just pray for those today uh, that listen to this, that are Christians, that are already saved, they experienced your compassion. They experienced your mercy. Lord, they were sick spiritually. You made them well. But Father, they're overwhelmed with the, um, with the level of sinfulness and all that the enemy is doing and all that people are doing around them. And Father, they've become a little bit hard. They've lost compassion. They've become jaded. They, Lord, they've become a little indifferent. Father, I ask you to come to them today, to, right now. And I pray you'll encourage them. I pray you fill them with a spirit of compassion. Let the character of Christ be stirred within them. Let the character of Christ, of meekness, of goodness, of patience, of long-suffering, let the heart of compassion that moves you, Jesus, when you saw the multitude, let it come to my brother again. Renew them in compassion. Renew someone in deep compassion for the men that are caught up in gang and in bondage. Renew compassion for someone who will see the young women who are caught up in those gangs and caught up in deception. Oh Lord, renew compassion. Oh Lord, in the heart of your people for those who are not well. Oh Lord, you have given many of us the experience of the great physician. May we never lose sight of where we started. 
Oh, renewing us the fresh love of what it means when you saved us and what you brought us out of. Oh, Lord, may we never lose track of that. Renew us, Lord. Oh, God, those who have been good before have been taken advantage of by others. Give them strength and grace not to be worried about others, but to serve you with goodness, to serve you with mercy, to serve you with compassion. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. And Father, we, we bind those works of yes, principalities yes. and powers of spiritual wickedness yes, in high places. Yes. Lord, we ask that your mighty hand will be stretched out against the diabolic work of the enemy to undercut Christians and undercut their compassionate heart, mm -hmm. to undercut their loving heart, to mm -hmm. undercut them from doing good, to take away their capacity for yes. niceness, meekness, loving kindness. Oh Lord, give your people a burning heart of love for people. These things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I trust you receive the word today. Amen. You know, just like Jesus says, he came to bring mercy. He came, he said, uh, not to, to, to condemn. He didn't come to call the righteous. He came to bring sinners to repentance. I pray that you will walk with that attitude, that you will live day by day with a heart of compassion. You will ask the Lord to use you as a Christian to be a difference maker. Amen. All right, so can I tell them about ECU now? All right, let's take a few minutes, and then uh, probably we can, we can finish up with another worship song. Is that possible? Uh, probably we can sing the same one all my life. We've been yeah. faithful, okay? All right, thank you so much. And you know, I, listen. I, I do have a song about the nation, so we can okay. sing that together. But, you know, um, I want to let you know that we're here at Emmanuel Caribbean University. Behind us is a stage. A long time ago, this used to be a dance song. Mm. All, there were three poles where people wow. were dancing for the devil. And lives have been destroyed under the sound of music. But here today, we are teaching the word of God. Amen. God has remodeled this place. And we are occupying and serving Jesus. And equipping people to serve and to be soldiers of Christ. Both in the local church and in the marketplace. Amen. You know, sometimes people just say, oh, there's a church upstairs. <laughs> well, we are the church. We are the church. And we are gathered here on a Sunday night. And you're always welcome to join us at 6.30. But the ministry of Emmanuel Caribbean University is focused on teaching. It's focused on teaching here in person. It's also focused on teaching online. And we'll also come to your church if you want us to bring a workshop on any topic. Yes. We would we will organize that. You want us to work with your leaders, work with your elders, train your Sunday school workers, yes. train your deacons and elders, yes. um, train your, your ministry team. Whatever you'd like us to do, we are here. God has uh, anointed and called us, and there's a gathering of anointed instructors here at Emmanuel Caribbean University to serve the body of Christ. I want to share with you that there are seven schools or seven areas that we are focused on at Emmanuel Caribbean University. We are a Christ-centered, Holy Spirit-empowered, and we are open access university. When you say university, what does that mean? Well, we are not just a Bible college where the only thing we teach is, or is preparing people for ministry within the local church, but that is a core of what we do. One of the schools we have is a school of ministry and missions. So we offer certificate level, bachelor's level, master's level training programs for those who are called to be pastors, evangelists, uh, church administrators, workers within the local church, full-time, part-time, missionaries, those that are called to go from Jamaica and the Caribbean into the world. God has assembled a place to equip you so you can faithfully be those ministry leaders. And then God has also given us an opportunity to bring together a team of people that even if you're called to be a chaplain, yes. you want to be a, a chaplain working in hospital, working with sports, working in universities and colleges, working in the marketplace, you can have a chaplaincy certification here at Emmanuel Caribbean University as well. And if you have a call of God on your life, God is stirring you to prepare yourself. There is a great transition coming in the church globally yes. here in jamaica yes. throughout the caribbean many of the pastors and leaders are at the last i wouldn't even say last quarter probably the last 10 15 percent of their ministry yes. because of physically and of course 
the journey of life takes us from birth right through to eternity with the Lord. And so where are the new generation of pastors? Yes. Where are the new generation of evangelists? Where are the new generation of youth workers and children them. workers? We, we need, need you. God needs you. That's right. You know, I was in service today and, and um, I heard there are over 22 um, churches within that denomination wow. where they have no leaders, no, no leaders. pastors. Right? Oh, wow. We are here to equip that generation to say we can prepare leaders for the yes. Lord. Yes. All right? So along with that, we have a school of business and leadership. If you want to, if God has called you to work in business, to start business, to learn about entrepreneurship, we have certificate and other courses in that area. Also, school of education and research. We're here. We have uh, God has put together a program for you to be trained and equipped in that area. Some of these and many of these courses uh, we have in partnership with external, uh, regional, and international colleges and universities. We have a school, uh, if you have a call in communication and technology, whether it's IT, uh, networking, computer repair, fiber optics, uh, project management, on and on and on in terms of technology. Because of the partnership we have with these exter external schools, you'll be able to prepare yourself to, to serve and to find opportunities in those areas. Then we also have the School of Government and Liberty, yes. which is very important. Especially to a nation. Especially to a nation. Mm -hmm. Especially to uh, even our friends in Haiti and, and here in Jamaica. And we have a partnership relationship with Oral Roberts University that can help you towards a Bachelor in Political Science and the other certification programs that we can make available to you if you're a believer and you want to know how you can make a difference in the area of law, in the area of uh, political science and government. God has a way to equip you. So get in touch with us and we would help you with that journey. Also in terms of family and community development. That how is do we call very it? important. Very important. How do you develop families? What is a family? Yes, and what is a mother and father role? And what is a child's role in mm -hmm. a growing family in That's today's right. world? In today, how do you, so, what do you do as a parent? And then how you discipline uh, and how the, the different steps of how to bring out a generation to understand what it means to be in a family unit. You know, I, I think there's a lot of um, um, secular, I, I say secular, I don't believe anything is secular because everything belongs to God. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are a lot of sociological principles about yes. community development yes. that ignores the Bible and yes. ignores the simple principle that man was made in the image of God. Yes. Do you know the Bible has a plan for community development? All we had a plan. Come to ECU and you'll find out more. We, we teach about community development from the biblical. Because from the very beginning in Genesis, it says you need to go and manage. Yes. Have dominion. So God is involved in community development. If your community development starts out by ignoring God, then that's going to be an uphill battle. Okay. So we, 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 build, we bring rather a biblical approach to community development. And then also school of music and the arts. Those are all programs we're developing. As you can see, we're here singing in a cappella, and we just love to worship. But one day we'll have a band, we'll have yes, students playing music, we'll, we'll equip these students, and we'll have others helping them to, to go, not just with DG and A, but they'll, they'll even go further than that, right? <laughs> we'll do that. I know more than that now. I know you do. I know you do. And that's where I started. I remember I had uh, my guitar teacher from England, and he used to get so upset at me. <laughs> All right, let's talk about what's coming this summer. Okay. All right, you, you want me to do this? Or? You go for it. Uh, I think you're doing a good job. I do the music you do. Well, thank you, man. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> uh, here we go. Here is what's coming up on summer. If you want to be a part of what God is doing, well, not just, we're here to serve you. Mm -hmm. So if we can serve you and help you to fulfill your destiny, fulfill your purpose, be equipped for a new level of life, a new opportunity, yes. a new job, promotion, Prepare yourself. You know, listen, if you drop out of school, you have no CSEC, there's room for you to start at Emmanuel Caribbean University. Why don't you start with our summer school? We have summer school June 3rd to the 26th. We have the classes, prayer and revival, class on uh, women in ministry, flowing in the prophetic anointing, and also children in ministry today. You can always call us at 876-630-7633. You can go to our website, ecujamaica.com, ecujamaica.com, 
and find out about our summer program. We are open for enrollment right now. The cost is very, very uh, minimal, 5,000 Jamaican dollars uh, for each course. You can really be a part of that. Yes. Now, on Saturdays, we are doing something new. Yes. We have in Saturday school starting on July the 6th. That's exciting. And for about two years, we're going to run this program on Saturday morning, person to person, yes. face to face here. Yes. And we'll also throw it out online, but we're really focusing on the in person because we are using the ISOM curriculum. We want to give people a chance to earn or to. Uh, a certificate in ministry, diploma in ministry, or a bachelor's in ministry, or advanced diploma right. at the end of it. And you actually will be able to connect with uh, just anointed speakers from around the world. Exactly. Uh, veteran speakers and teachers during our season. Season, exactly, on Saturday mornings. Mm -hmm. So that's actually a separate track, a separate track from Emmanuel Caribbean University regular program. So you could actually just enter into the Saturday, stay up for three hours on Saturday, and within two years, you would have completed that program with Saturday school. Now, our regular program of Emmanuel Caribbean University, you'll take about 40 classes. That might also last about three years. Mm -hmm. We have classes online or classes in person. And what I've been sharing, come to school in the morning, continue your work in the evening. Make time to prepare yourself to make a difference. Make time to prepare yourself to make a difference. Okay? So we have courses right now. We are inviting you to enroll for our September term coming up. We call it the fall term, the September term. Come online, go online rather, see the application, start the application process. Come and, and uh, you can uh, come online as a student or be in person. We want to see about 25. We want to welcome a lot of people. And, yes. and if you come early, if, you're, if you need a scholarship, let us know. Don't allow finances to stop you, especially in the in-person. Just fill out the application, take the step of process, and allow the Lord to use you. Mm -hmm. and allow the Lord to equip you during this time. If you already have a degree and you want to do a, a, the master's yes. program, or especially if you're a pastor. We have a lot of pastors that yeah. have been asking us, about this new program because a lot of them have been in ministry, ministry 20 years, 25 years. They still able to further their mm -hmm. um, skill in their ministry right. or whatever area. And so I'm telling you all pastors, please, and even also women, you if you've been in ministry and you want to be more educated in ministry in itself, the master program is exciting. Yes, yeah. classes like... Um, theological research, sure, history yeah. and values of ECU, mm -hmm. homiletics and Bible study methods at a higher level, yes. um, Christian leadership, Christian leadership management, Christian discipleship, biblical counseling, yes. life management, life and family management, spirit filled ministry, spiritual formation, world missions, and of course you'll get the chance to do a thesis and the, yes. the in the master's program the thesis that you do yes. is actually very practical so you look at your ministry yes. and something you want to develop during that process will help you yes. to put that probably a new ministry probably a new outreach probably a new uh, focus will help with that amen uh, and the last thing i want to say about emmanuel caribbean university all these different things is the the opportunity that people have to get certification for employment yes, because yes. of our relationship yes, with Advanced yes. Solution Technical Institute. We're talking about programs like project management, mm -hmm. finance management, yes. um, you can do IT networking, you know, administration. For administration. administration. I mean, for example, yeah. if you're a security guard and you want to learn more about, you know, to get promotion, that's, well, to get opportunity have, yeah, for that. They have cyber too. Cyber, you can learn um, cyber security, mm -hmm. all of, so many, things, you'll have to go to our website, mm -hmm. look for the tab that says School of Technology, click on it, and it will give you opportunity to find out how we can serve you. So Probably you may have a son or daughter coming out of high school, right. or in in, the, in that level, you want to give them certification. Um, you know, robotics is on there, yes. fiber optics. Yes. The School of Technology is a big area we want to, to encourage you to check out. ECU jamaica.com go to where it's uh, the school of technologies or, or look for the application for any of these programs that we have for you that's what i wanted to 
that ask you mm -hmm. that how do they get to it? They go to ECU. Right. And, and then, then click on the School of Technology. Technology. And you'll be able to do that. Amen. Okay. And Pastor Betty, there's one. I said one more, but we've got to bring this in. Yes. There are many churches out here that are looking for a way to train the people within their church at the local church. We have a program for that, right? Yes, we do. Tell we us have, about We that. have a program called ISOM. Mm -hmm. It's spelled I-S-O-M. Right, which which means, means International School of Ministry. Mm -hmm. And so what we do, we will get a plan for you, and it's exciting for the local church. I believe that a lot of people go to university also, but a lot of people want to also study within a local setting. Right at home. At, at that church mm -hmm. level. And so what we do, we will communicate to you as a pastor, mm -hmm. and as pastors, you can develop your Bible school yeah. around ISOM program, which we are the regional directors mm -hmm. here in Jamaica, mm -hmm. coordinating, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And so we would help you to plan that out we have a DVD based mm -hmm. our curriculum, which will help you to get your diploma. Now, you talk about the fivefold ministry, mm -hmm. that would really help the local church. To understand that. A lot of needs has been um, just saying, how can I get my members to do better? Right. How can I get them to understand what I'm teaching as a pastor? But can we have Sunday school teachers? Can we develop them? Yes, you can. And by giving them these courses, it helps you as a church to strengthen your body. Oh, my goodness. To further out your community. And I tell you, ISOM is an amazing it's program. But it's under ECU. You cannot get it any other way. Right. You need to contact we'll us. Contact and then us, we'll and we'll get you, and we'll develop you. And, and we will also communicate with you what you need to do. Now, we'll the, help in the administration yes, of the program. Which that's and then I we'll be, then be able to get you... Um, the certificate yeah. for your members. Right. Pastor Ben is a, she's a coordinator of the ISIM program. Right. So if, if you're a pastor, you're a leader, yes. or you're a Christian leader, you want to open up a school in your community yes. or in your local church, why don't you give us a call at 876-630-7633. At yes. 876-630-7633. Or email mainoffice.ecu yes. yes. at gmail.com. Of course, you can always go to our website, ecujamaica.com. Yes. You can send us a comment. We'd love to talk to you about that. Yes. You know, Betty, one of the things that I remember in the Bible, when Moses was lifting up his hands, yes. and as long as his hands stayed up, the people would win the battle. Win the but battle. then he be became tired. And the Bible says exactly. Aaron and Ur came yes. and lifted up their hands. That's what Isom, I think, would yes. do. You know, train those yes. Aaron's and uh, Ur's, exactly. bring unity to exactly. lift up the hands of the pastors so that you will have a strong ministry team right. to serve Christ in your community, That's to right. reap the harvest. That's I mean, right. the, the courses are not just only theological, you know, talk about healing, the Bible, Bible study, Old Testament, New yes. Testament. It also covers things like usher ministry, right. children ministry, children's uh, ministry, you know, hospitality. Oh, wow. Oh my hospitality. God. That's number one. I mean, one. It's, a, it's a great book. <laughs> anyway, that's about ISOM. Yes. Get a hold of us. We'd love to yes. talk to you if you're a pastor or a leader yes. concerning that. Man, uh, where is time gone? It's just, it's gone we're, we're, we're gone. We're finishing up here. We'll, well let's next. finish up in one song, right? Up unto yes. the Lord. Okay. And then we will see you next time. Every Sunday night, we gather here. Like you said, if you're in Montego Bay or surrounding, come on out. We're going to, we actually, we envision this Sunday night to be almost like a, a Christian um, uh, studio. I've seen people out here clapping. We see different bands coming to worship. And we're just going to have a great time here. But it's up to you to come. We're going to have a great time regardless, right? Regardless. We invite you to come out and join us in this ministry. There, Eddie was, a, there was a song that our students a long time ago, mm -hmm. we used to in Bible school too as well. And it says, Jesus, you are king. Oh, you wow. All, all the, the nations. nations. And I tell you, this is amazing. So one of our students wrote this song in the past, and I kept, kept it also mm. in our archives. And so I hope you like it, and we can continue to sing it. And it's an amazing song. And it goes, Jesus, you are king. Yes. You rule all the nation. Jesus, you are Lord. Your glory we proclaim. Jesus, you will reign in our hearts forever. We 
glorify your name. Jesus, you are King. You rule all the nation. Jesus, you are Lord. Your glory we proclaim. Jesus, you will reign with our hearts, our hearts forever. We glorify your name. Jesus, we glorify your name. Lord Jesus, we honor you. Lord Jesus, we praise you. Hallelujah. Lord, raise up compassionate people. Raise up people who will speak of the great physician. Raise up more people who will have, have mercy. Merciful people, kind people. Raise up more people who will not be overwhelmed by the darkness, but they will shine brightly in the dark. Raise up difference makers, O oh God. Lord, we pray you bless your people today. We honor you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you believe in the vision and you'd like to continue to encourage the vision of Emmanuel Caribbean University, I want to invite you to be one of our destiny partners. We're looking for a group of people like Gideon did, a, a Gideon's army who will come alongside and give 100 U.S. per month or 15,000 Jamaican per month or any amount that the Holy Spirit will put on your heart. You say, I want to sow and I want to partner with ECU every month. If you would do that, go to our website, destiny at ecujamaica.com forward slash destiny helpers and let us know what the Holy Spirit is saying to you. Of course, you can call us at 876-630-7633 or mainoffice.ecu at gmail.com and let us know that the Lord has called you and spoken to you about partnering so we can have a strong movement of Christian education in Jamaica and the Caribbean for the glory of God. Thank you. Have a good night. This is Peter and Betty Burnett. Great to be with you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Amen. Praise God. Glory to God.